RHS Precalculus presents Learning Your Way Around Trig College, Verifying Trig Identities. Welcome to Trig College, where you can verify your identity. It's the Friday of Daisy's first week at Trig College, and she has a new class day and doesn't know where it is. She asks her roommate, who is a junior, for some help. Hey, Stacy. Yeah? I have a new class today. Could you show me how to get there? Of course. I had a hard time finding my way around when I first got here. If you want, I can show you how to find any address, so you can do it on your own from now on. Oh, that would be fantastic. Okay, what's the class? It's Biology 2, and the address is cosine theta. Okay, so our address is 1 plus cosecant theta over secant theta minus cotangent theta. The general rules for finding the address you are looking for is go down a street that has factored, squared a binomial, gotten rid of the denominator, or used the fundamental trig identities to change streets. Here are some trig identities you might need. If you're not sure where to go, try going down streets that are all sines and cosines. A tip for you though, always remember where you're trying to go and always pick a street. Even if you reach a dead end, at least you won't be in the same spot. And the most important thing, there's always more than one way to get to your destination. Some are just faster than others. Sounds good, thank you for helping me. Okay, so this is our address and we can change streets by taking secant out of the denominator, which you, you can t multiply by the reciprocal, one over secant theta. According to the reciprocal identity, one over secant theta equals cosine theta. Then you can distribute cosine theta to one and cosecant theta, giving cosine theta plus one over sine theta times cosine theta over one minus cotangent theta, leaving us at that street. Then, multiplying those two together, you get cosine theta over sine theta, which, according to the quotient identity, you get cotangent theta. Cotangent theta minus cotangent theta just leaves us with cosine theta, which is the Biology 2 building's address. Okay, that seems easy enough. I think I can get around campus now. Thanks. No problem. Later that day, when Daisy had successfully made it to all of her classes without getting lost, she went back to her friend Annabelle's dorm room. Annabelle asked her if she wanted to go to a social gathering at the college's only fraternity house. So, do you want to go to Secret Beta with me now? Yeah, I'd love to. Just one catch. I don't know how to get there. I know the address, though. I totally know how to get around now. What is the address? Well, the frat house is Secant Beta, and my address is Tangent Beta times Cotangent Beta over Cosine Beta. Okay. Well, since we're starting at Tangent Beta times Cotangent Beta over Cosine Beta, we change streets after using the quotient identity to turn tan beta into sine beta over cosine beta and cotangent beta to cosine beta over sine beta. Then by multiplying those, they cancel each other out and we change streets again to one over cosine beta. Then our last turn is after we use the reciprocal identity to get secant beta and then we're at the fraternity house. Whoa, that seems confusing. It's really not that hard once you know the rules. I'll teach them to you tomorrow. Sounds good to me. Let's go to Secret Beta now. Okay. I really love Trick College already. Me too, and I feel like everything about it is reassuring me who I am. I feel the same way. The end.